So today we're gonna to be checking out another brand new release from YSL. This appears to not only be the start of a new fragrance line for men, but it's also the second new release we've had this year for men's fragrances from YSL. Two in one year, that's pretty cool. This of course is YSL Myself. Starting out as an eau de parfum concentration, this is a refillable bottle, so they are kind of moving towards that direction with this line in particular where uh, the Y series, I do not believe to be refillable ones. So that's kind of the direction they're going with this. Again, EDP, the first one, I'm sure there's gonna be many more to follow. Let's go ahead and try this one out. And I gotta say, I wasn't really expecting anything like this, but it does kind of look just like a, a Y type of deal, the bottle shape and everything like that. And even the name kind of has a little bit of that, uh, but it is just kind of an all new design here. Really sharp looking bottle, I have to say. A little bit more premium looking than some of the others. Uh, YSL is bold front and center there on the front. We've got the YSL logo on the cap and uh, that's really all there is to it. A little sticker on the bottom with myself, Eau de Parfum, and then the batch code. Nice details though, like on the edges, there's a, some sort of a detailed indentation type of thing going on that you can just kind of see there. So, you know, they spent some time on this. It does look pretty cool. Uh, very sleek, very modern, and uh, Eau de Parfum down there on the bottom. Cap does click into place on this one. They didn't give us a magnetic cap on these, that's fine. Let's go ahead and try it out. We'll see how it smells. Um, I did take a peek at the note breakdown just because I was curious, so we'll kind of maybe play off of that. I can't remember really any of the notes, but um, very fresh. Um, and it immediately starts off in the way that it smells familiar, you guys know that, and that's just kind of where we're at these days. It almost has like a little bit of a uh, aldehydic, ambroxany, Invictus Aqua, linens, lavender type of smell, just kind of in that ballpark. It's in the ballpark of being uh, very mass pleasing and very safe. And really, to be fair, I wasn't necessarily expecting it to not be that way. I kind of figured, just based off of what I saw from the notes, the marketing and everything like that, that of course they're gonna be playing it safe and trying to make sure this smells good to as many people as possible. And I can tell right away it's going to be very pleasing. Let's take a look at those notes again. Um, so up top we have bergamot and Calibrian bergamot. I don't know what the other variety of bergamot was, but they have two of them there. In the mid we have orange blossom. In the base we have ambrofix and patchouli. So that's a new one there. Uh, it's uh, clearly ambery. It's close to a mixture of Isoe Super and Ambrox DL. Woody and fresh with a piney and nutty nuance. Cedarwood floral, leather-like, slightly tobacco note. Dry musk-like aftertaste. Balsamic, amber-like. This is all according to Fragrantica. And there's only just a couple, a uh, handful of fragrances on there. All new 2023 releases. So this does appear to be a new sort of concoction, basically. And so does come off very ambroxany fresh. I'm not getting any tobacco or leathery nuances from it yet. The patchouli really isn't, is, hasn't kicked up yet as well. To me, it's all about the orange blossom, the bergamot, that ambrox freshness, and again, to me, like a lavender feeling. And one thing that you will probably like, some of you will, some of you won't, is that this doesn't have the same characteristics as something like Wyota Parfum, Wiley Parfum, where it has a ton of apple, a ton of sage, geranium, that kind of aromatic mid with the sweet apple, that is non-existent here. And similar deal with their other new release, Y EDP Intense. They also got away from that and that one. And so I think they're kind of getting away from that trend a little bit, the, the overwhelming sweetness coming from these fresher scents and then kind of going back to a more traditional take somewhat. So let's see what everybody else has to say um, in terms of what it is similar to. We have Valentino, uh, born in Roma, the original. We have um, uh, Libra by Yves Saint Laurent for women, which I haven't smelled. Ralph's Club, Wiley Parfum, Loam, Intense, Ocean by Prada, Lanouille de Lome, 
Wyota Parfum Intense, Polo Red. So, I mean, everything is literally all over the board here. Um, and I really don't agree with too many of those. Doesn't have the same type of aromatic package as Ralph's Club. Doesn't have the same type of sweetness as Born in Roma. Um, doesn't have the same type of, again, aromatics and sweetness as Wiley Parfum. Doesn't have anything to do with Loam Parfum Intense, which uh, is a, a strange one. Same deal, Prada Ocean. This one doesn't have the iris, doesn't have that same type of woody tonka going on. Lanoui de Lome, that is very far off. Wyota Parfum Intense, still kind of not so much. Polo Red Parfum, I think that is definitely not. Um, Coach for Men. The regular Invictus. Yeah, again, it's just kind of there's a whole lot going on there. And again, what it comes down to is, yes, a lot of those are probably trolley type things, right? That's something that we know. But also, when you see that happening, again, it kind of goes back to what I said in the beginning of the video. The second I smelled this, it had that familiar feel to it. And I'm sure that's what's happening with everybody who tries this. Anybody who has smelled any handful of fragrances and has been in the game for a few years at the minimum, a year at the minimum, has really tried a lot of things, you're going to pick up on this and you're going to go, you know what? Yeah, that has a lot of similarities to a lot of things. And so those comparisons, whether they're legitimate or not, I can see where people are kind of thinking of a whole bunch of stuff because this reminds you of a lot of things. And for, again, a lot of us, that gets boring. But at the end of the day, when it comes to pleasing the masses, this is the type of thing that excels uh, to the best of its ability. Okay, so let's talk about how it is now because it has changed a little bit just from the very beginning there to now i'm getting actually a little bit more substance out of it still no tobacco varieties like that description or anything to me it's more so some of the patchouli is starting to come in some more woodiness is starting to work its way in you know that could be coming from just that Ambrox, so whatever it's called, a cord that they uh, have there, the new thing. Could be that there's some other woods listed in the base that they just didn't list off. It could be a number of things, but that's coming through. Still very much a fresh forward scent. The orange blossom is giving it a white floral type of feel. The bergamot is really giving it that fresh pop and that nice invigorating balance. So yeah, it's kind of how this one is sitting right now. It smells very nice, but it isn't overly exciting either. One thing I do like is that they're starting this one out as an eau de parfum. Seems to be something that a few brands are starting to do. Uh, Ralph Lauren did it with Ralph's Club. Uh, I think even another new line popped up this year that did it. I can't remember off the top of my head, but that's becoming more common. Sometimes they are skipping the EDTs and just going for an EDP and then expanding their parfums. Uh, you know, elixirs and things like that. So um, I'm hoping that this one will have at least decent performance. If this could make it up to that eight hour mark, seven, eight hours, I think that would be awesome, but who knows? Definitely going to be much more clean, fresh, and floral than the other Y fragrances. So I think this could be a nice change of pace if you were never able to fully jump on board with the Ys, you know, of all the different varieties, you couldn't get to them, didn't like them. This is something that is kind of a, essentially what's going to be a, a different take on a similar mass pleasing style of scent. I'm looking forward to seeing a Parfum. If they beef it up a little bit more, make it a little bit more intense and interesting, I would like to see that. I'm sure an elixir would follow, right? This is going to be the first of many. So I think for their first of the line, it's not bad, not overly exciting yet. Maybe they will get there down the road, but I do like it. I could see myself wearing this for sure in the warm months. I could see myself definitely working this into some lists where it would fit, for example, versatile scents, compliment, uh, getting fragrances, things like that, summer scents, right? I could see myself working this in when this hits discounters, especially, and you can get it for a good price below retail. It might be one that would interest some of you. Okay, hey, YSL, myself, Eau de Parfum, there it is, first impressions, there you have it. Uh, nothing crazy, but I also don't hate it either, which is good. I'll drop a link to this one down below. If you want to get notified of when this pops up below retail or any other great deals come up, get on my mailing list and my texting list at the link and number down below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.